guys welcome to a new v rising video today what i want to show you guys is where you can find a lot of end game uh resources that you're going to need things like glass fish oil schematics gold jewelry um and a few other things as well uh the places that we are going to be farming you'll find it in silver light hills over here in the city now be careful because a lot of the mobs are a lot higher level they're uh, around the 60 plus range so they are going to be pretty strong but obviously here you can get fresh fresh fish fish oil reinforced planks schematics glass from the barrels here you can get gold jewelry imperial thread you can also get gold jewelry here and imperial thread from killing knights clerics paladins you know any of them uh, light weavers any of them souped up buffed mobs but obviously what we are going to show you is obviously um the amount of resources we get from going through this i've already just turned up here um obviously we've got a light weaver right here and then we're going to kill her hopefully we'll get some gold jewelry or imperial thread one or the other but i'm going to show you guys everything that i've got at the end of this run of, of going from so we're going to go from this top part, go around all this dark, fishing all the fishing areas, killing all the mobs and breaking all the barrels and the boxes and stuff all around these sections. And I'll be right back. So all right then, from obviously going um, from this top side here, clearing all of this and just clearing all the barrels, killing the clerics, the knights, um, even obviously just the normal mobs because the normal mobs drop schematics. You know, fished all the spots. I think that was about seven day fishing spots. And obviously broke all the way down here and got up to these horses and just did, did a few bits around here. Probably took me about, what, five minutes, 10 minutes if that, depending on obviously mobs and stuff. And this is what we've got. So fish wise, we have sage fish, fat gobby, you know, rainbow trout, pretty decent. Got that and some fish bones. We've got a few flawless gems, which is actually really nice. You guys can't see down this bottom left there we go we'll put the the useless you know blood essence down in that corner we got a hundred and nine fish oil um we got some high lotus flower when was on the way over here 78 schematics 10 gold jewelry just from killing the the priests the light weavers and one that roaming reinforced planks scrolls 35 glass seven imperial thread you know, 64 copper ingots, 16 iron ingots, you know, whetstone. You like get so much stuff from just roaming around this little area and farming that. You know, I think it's crazy um, how quick and easy you could just rinse and repeat, just farm this for the, the main things you need in end game, which are reinforced planks, imperial thread, glass, fish oil, um, even obviously flawless gems, you know. You need flawless gems for like later on as well when you're making uh, your specific jewelry and stuff. You know, I, th I think it's pretty cool. I think I think it's insane. Like how many resources, how much resources you get for the little of time. But either way, man, if you guys enjoyed it, man, hit that follow button, hit that hit that subscribe button. Sorry, hit that like button as well. And leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it, man. Hope you had a beautiful day. I'll be out tomorrow um tomorrow with another video probably specifically about gold jewelry if you're just looking to farm gold jewelry or some other form of uh resource or material if you guys obviously i uh, want to see a video on anything specifically man just uh comment down below in the comments and let me know what you guys would like uh, information on and i'm actually gonna bounce out man have a beautiful night peace